G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Subnautica with Mags. So, as I'm sure you're noticing right now, we appear to be back in the mess hall of my surface base. Why are we not down in the, the Lost River biome? Well, there was a slight issue. Now, before anyone worries, the patch didn't seem to affect this particular save at all. Everything seems to be working fine. I've spotted a couple of bugs here and there, but I don't think they're related to the save. I think they're actually issues that uh, managed to slip through on the patch. And I'm expecting that they will be uh, a micro patch will come through and fix these bugs sometime in the next few days. No, my problem was with my recording software. So, what happened was, I recorded an entire episode, 1 hour and 45 minutes, to edit down into a 45 minute video for you guys, where I built the start of my uh, deep sea uh, Lost River biome base. Ran out of resources, decided to come to the surface to collect resources. Had a couple of fights on the way, which was very entertaining. Punched out a couple of sharks, which was all wonderful. And then ended it about where we're starting now, ready for the next episode. And then I went to check the recording file and discovered that the recording itself had glitched and there was no video or audio in it, just a 32 gig recording consisting of nothing. So, yeah, we're missing an episode. Now, apparently I have a message. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, uh, how many of, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? We're a six-seater, and we aren't even slightly equipped to handle this. Our pilot last attempt at a planet landing in the Academy simulator, oh, it's a bad situation, but so are all the alternatives. Okay, so apparently the ship's coming in to rescue us. Um, hope they're not in a rush to do that, because, yeah, I've got plans. Anyways, at this point, I've gathered up a huge amount of materials. I've filled up every single spot that I can potentially stick stuff in the entirety of the Cyclops. I have even created a few more storage bays to stick more stuff inside of. Uh, as per the last video, I have renamed the Seamoth to the Rue, and it has been upgraded, ready for deep dive. I've left the prawn suit back at the Lost River biome. I needed it there, so I had a space on the Cyclops to actually bring the Seamoth down. Whoa! I forgot how fast this thing is. I um, wanted to, yeah, I wanted to bring this thing down because it's a bit quicker to actually explore the, uh, some of the caves. The network down there is rather massive. I'll bring this one on board. But we're not quite done at the surface yet. We have something else that we have to do today. I have a load of resources on board. I have titanium. I have I have enough to build one, possibly two nuclear reactors. I have resources for computer chips. As you can see, I've actually I don't think I've got anywhere to stick any of this. Um, hang on a second. Two of those, and I've got a glass. That's alright, I can deal with that. Oh wait, hang on. Have I filled all these up? Ah, they're empty, excellent. I'll stick all the lead and all the crap in here. In you go. Uh, hang on, I want that back. You can take that. And we've got this one. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, so I've got a little bit more space for stuff here, but there is something that I actually need to get. As I said, I've got titanium, I've got uh, salts, quartz, I've got piles of refined glass, water, food. I've even managed to make some reactor rods out of the uh, the uranite, creating uranium down to reactor rods, so I can use... I've got what I need to power nuclear reactors now. Spare wiring kits. I've got almost everything I need to build a pretty good base down there, except for one material that I haven't been able to find. Magnesite. 
This is a requirement for thermal reactors. Now, why would I want thermal reactors if I have the ability to make nuclear reactors? Well, nuclear reactors require fuel, and I don't know how common uranite is going to be for converting through to uranium, for converting through to the nuclear reactor rods. So, we are heading for the North Island. The North Island, I visited there once to place a uh, place a beacon and there was some magnesite there that I collected and I'm hoping there will be more It's the only place that I've ever actually found it on the map So let's get up there and see what we can find All right, so we have arrived just to the south side of the North Island The last time I was here, there weren't too many paths around it. There was a beach around this section, but it looks like there's more up here. I'm wondering if this has all changed. It looks like there's a cave all the way up at the top. I have been in a cave that sits around over here before. You come up off the beach around this section. The fuck is that? That's the precursor gun. They've, they've put the gun back in. Well, uh, um, this video just got a little bit interesting. I wasn't expecting that to be here. Um, the bits of the storyline I know, that's, I think anyway, the weapon that shot down Aurora. Caves all through up there. Um, actually, before we pull up... Uh, Let's activate the cameras. Yeah, there he is. He's always here. Let's get it in. Well, we can't get it in too close because we've got to get out the bottom of the submarine. Yeah, that'll do, I think be close enough in. Um, equipment, we're going to need some equipment. I want the Thermoblade, I might need the laser cutter if I'm going to go over there. Definitely going to need the scanner. Yeah, I'll grab those two as well. Weaponize myself. Um, I doubt we're going to need the Habitat Builder for this one. So I want the Stasis Rifle on one. Propulsion cannon on two. Scanner on. Scanner on five. Put the welder on four. Let's make the knife three. Actually, no, let's make the knife one, two, three. That's better, I'm not happy with that. Um, while we're at it. Take the standard O2 tank and leave it, and just take the high capacity tank. Caution. Mild dehydration detected. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Um probably shouldn't store my food with the reactor control rods. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, we're good. Stay down there, you little bastard. Straight away, I see something that I want. Uranite. I'll take as much of that as I can get. I've got, I think, enough materials to make about two, but... That's really odd. You can see water inside of the submarine. That never used to happen. So obviously there's, well, there's another bug. It's a beacon. That's not sitting where I put it, actually. So this is all moved around. Oh, great. Gotcha. Right. 
right, um, if we go up this way, we should be able to get up onto this platform, and this is the first precursor base that I've ever seen. That's kind of trippy. That does nothing. Let me up. Ground's a little, uh... Purple artifact. Um, alien data. Alien artifact. The algae growth on the exterior of this device indicated it has lain here for hundreds of years undisturbed. Despite its age, its power source appears to be functional. It may prove to be compatible with other nearby technologies. Okay. Must remember I've still got to get the magnesite before I leave here as well. Okay. Um, nothing too interesting here. It's just sort of around the outside or what that's funny I say there's nothing particularly interesting about this that's what it's supposed to have been capable of doing um, yeah that doesn't seem to go anywhere so I guess we gotta get higher nope gonna let me do that Alright, so this sucks. You fall over the edge, you're going to run all the way to the end again in order to be able to get up on top. If that even makes a difference at this point, which I'm not sure it does. Almost got that. There we go. Parkour for the win. All right, so around the sides. see any signs of anything to be honest can't see any spots to actually insert or do anything You know, for a massively powerful super weapon, you're kind of boring. Hmm. Well, in that case, I have no idea what to do with it. Either that, or you can't do anything to do with it at this point. It just sits there and looks cool while you're doing other stuff. So, I'm going to assume it's the latter, and we're going to go and do other stuff. Hey, it's a diamond. I don't really need it, but I'll take it. Lithium, I'll definitely take some lithium. Damn, not up in the mat. Alright. Where is the magnesite? That's what I'm here for. And I will need as much of it as I can get. Oh, hello.
we do anything. Let's have a scan of this, shall we? Alien terminal. This device appears to have alien origins. It's connected to the nearby force wheel. The technology is far beyond anything manufactured by the Federation. Nevertheless, it appears to be functioning like a normal lock and only needs the correct kind of key. That'll do it. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No matches are found in the database performing structural analysis. Some very interesting architecture designs have gotten here. Identify background message being broadcast throughout the facility. Partial translation available. Message reads Warning unidentified craft in orbit of this planet uh, will be destroyed to prevent Rockologar something something and it cut off. Analysis of patterns on the walls cannot discern whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Data terminal. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Alien Dharma Terminal. This terminal was discovered within the alien facility that shot down Aurora on planet 4546B. On approach, it began to resonate, producing low frequency radio wave containing a complex but recognizable data patterns. Matches no known technologies constructed from the same off world material as the facility itself. It seems to be in a solid, st a solid state computer of some kind. No recognizable user interface. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically had sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers are consider considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Using the evidence gathered from the device, it may be possible to extract comprehensible data from other such devices should they exist. Assessment further alien data required. Sunny setting. I'm a little occupied right now. I, I don't think it's going to get dark in here. Your best probability of disabling this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. How do you know the control room's down there? Alright, come on. We've got to have something down here. Where does this key go? Well, I'm assuming it's key anyway. And we have another one. Probably should scan it this time. Iron crystal. What have we got here? Alien data... Iron crystals down here. Planetary geology. Uh, these alien cubes each store the equivalent energy of a small nuclear detonation. The alien technology is able to keep the stored atoms in a permanent, permanently stable state. 
However, under the right conditions, the reaction could be recatalyzed and the energy released in a controlled manner. They were likely used as batteries, storing power generated at the main reactor and then transported wherever they were needed. Assessment, possible source of escape velocity energy. Hmm. I can see where it's going with that. Take that one too. Okay, apparently we have another radio signal coming through, put that on the right hand side. That's new by the way, that's a new icon that's popping up and telling me whenever a signal is coming in. Not sure I like it yet, although I suppose it doesn't do any harm. Whoa, whoa shit. Okay, this is cool. I take it that was the elevator. I have no artifact to insert. Okay, so I need an artifact to open this door, I take it. Um, and there seems to be nowhere to put the batteries. Well, that's alright. This elevator works both ways, although I sort of expected it would have. Hmm. So I need another tablet to open that next door. anything those things are taking up inventory spots yeah iron crystals are taking up infantry slots well I guess I just keep running through this place until we find something and if we don't find anything um, head around and explore the rest of the island see what I can come up with yeah, that was where the first tablet came from, the first one of these things came from. The batteries. Um, now that's looking like it, and this way, if I remember correctly, leads out the front door again. I really do wish there was an option to turn all of that off. That would make this much easier. I don't need these beacon, these navigation markers right now. And there's outside. Okay. That's a broken tablet that we can't open, or we can't use. As far as I can tell, there's no way to manipulate it, so. That's right, let's go have a look around the island. It does sort of look cool, though I'm, I'm not entirely sold on the design, if I'm honest. It's sort of cool, but it's sort of not at the same time. Caution. Dehydration detected. Oh, okay. Um, looks like we have to quickly head back to the submarine for a moment. Uh, the Cyclops has all my water stores on board. How the hell do I get back up there? A 
Cyclops has all my water stores on board, so I'm going to have to go back and get myself a drink. I should have brought supplies on before I wandered through. The bit that I'm actually concerned about right now is I haven't seen any magnesite on the way in. It used to just sit on the ground here. But there appears to be nothing, or at least nothing that I've spotted. Let's be careful entering the water to see where my little friend down here has gone. Yeah, you just stay down there. Okay, aboard. on board, upstairs. All systems online. I'm low on water and food. So, two more greyfish, we have two waters, I want to go through this fast. Gary fish wasn't enough. I'm running out of water quickly. Uh, uranite crystal can be stored, lithium can be stored, diamond can be stored, gold can be stored. I'll keep the iron crystals on me, I don't know what they're going to be useful for. I assume they're going to be useful here though. Straight away, another uranite crystal, which I will not say no to. That is just salt, I don't need salt. Um, I wonder if I should go that way. Yeah, we'll go this way. Huh? Well, that was stupid. Just jump over the cliff, why don't you? Salt deposits. Mm, don't need gold. So we've got a couple of cave entrances over here. We'll go into this one because I reckon... No, this is two different caves. But we have a cable that is running through. Oh, shit. There's the other one. Two down. Is that cheating? Maybe. Do I care? Not really. Uh, rattlers and... Okay. More salt. Lithium. Still no sign of magnesite. And that's a long drop. Now, I'm not going to jump over the edge of this because I already happen to know that the latest patch put fall damage in. So I fall over there, I die. Um, two lithium. More lithium is good. I need lithium for certain things still, especially reinforcements as I expand the base, but uh, I don't need that much of it, and I don't know what the hell is it with all salt lying around everywhere. need the magnesite. That's what I need. Hmm. Alien structure. This structure is currently powered down. 
Ah, its intended purpose is unclear. Possible theories, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, advanced transportation network. May be prudent to search the area for further examples of alien architecture and technology. I have some batteries that I'm willing to bet will turn that place on. It's a cave drop there. Yeah, it looks like a drop everywhere with a small... Oh, no, that's, that's a way down. Okay, so there is a way back up. I reckon, insert fuel crystal. Stargate. Okay, so where the shit am I? Somewhere overgrown from the looks of it. Somewhere far away from the North Island. Grand Reef Geovents. Lost River Biome. I am very, very south right now. I am possibly. Is there anything else around me? Thermal vent face, sand dunes wreck, thermal vent vape, lost river biome, grand reef wreck. I'm inside the floating island. Or at least I think I am, it's around the approximate area I should be. Inside one of the mountains. This is cool, this is a really awesome little area you've got going here, but... Path leading up. I was about to say, why am I here? Like, why is this teleporter here? What is this place's significance? Because I'm not seeing anything here at the moment. Yep, this is the floating island, and I reckon I don't want to step out there because once I fall, I will never be able to get back up. I reckon that's the pool of water that I built one of my base in, one of the last, um, uh, one of the last series that I did. Do I remember to bring a torch? No, I forgot to bring the torch. Of course, I did. So, this leads up and out into an open area. Yep, this is the floating island. South of the Aurora. Uh, so yeah, of the Aurora. Okay, so the North Island and the South Island are connected, and that's what that is for. Interesting to know, but not really much use for me at the moment. There's nothing on the South Island that I need, but I will keep it in mind for future base building. 
have access to a stargate between the two. Now I'm just going to make sure I go back through this stargate and it's going to jump me in the opposite direction, take me back to the right place and not somewhere else. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted to see. Beautiful. Sorry I don't have a torch here too, guys. This is, uh... Bit embarrassing. I normally carry the torch on me all the time and I barely ever use the bloody thing. And the second I try and change over to new gear... Well, at this point, it's dark. I think it's... That's gold. Um, I think I will head back and jump in the submarine for the moment. This place is going to take some exploring. Actually, part of me is... Oh, God, this is going to be an interesting walk down, considering I can't... That leads back inside the cave. I don't want to go back inside the cave. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Okay, maybe the drop isn't so bad. All I wanted was some magnesite so I could go and work on my new base. Jesus. Always something. Always something. And why the hell can't I eat these crabs? Really? I'm cooking them as I'm killing them. Why the hell can't I eat them? More salt. More lithium. Um, I'll keep heading around, and that should... Yeah, there's the gun. So yeah, I'll keep heading around this way. It'll be the fastest way to get back to the... to the Kanga. Um, if I can go this way near this green thingy and up and around and over and right as I'm trying to get back to avoid the darkness, the sun comes back up. I don't know. I'm going to head back into the submarine for a moment anyway. I've got a pile of stuff here I need to unload. Yeah, um, this is going to take me a while to explore through. Now, that was, obviously one of those batteries was meant to activate that, but I have a whole bunch of caves up here to explore. Welcome aboard. And that was just... Captain. All systems Thank online. You. It's good to know. Battery power's getting low, though. Um, I need more space. Stick them in these ones, I've got more space over here. Lithium, you yeah. keep the eye on. Drink the water. Grab a snack from over here where we're at. I think I've got one still. Got a couple. Um yeah, it's it's gonna take me a while to sort this out. Uh do I have a message? No, I don't have a message thing. Hang on a second. Let's do this to send off. Um, let's put that on number one for the moment. What do I need? Wiring kit and titanium. What do I need for a wiring kit? I need electronics. Standard wiring kit, two silver ore. That's easy, I've got that. I know I have that, I've just got to work out where I put it all. Lithium... Copper ore... As you can see, I'm carrying an extraordinary amount of titanium and glass on board. Silver, I knew I had some. Let's 
double check that. I need a single titanium. I'll grab that from just in here, that'll do. What's this? Oh! I can make an artifact, but I need two diamonds and an iron crystal for it. Well, isn't that interesting? I wouldn't have realized that. Um, yeah, anyways, I want to go up here. We want to make a quick wiring kit. And let's just put the community, or the, put the relay, communications relay. Um, somewhere it's not going to get in the way of anything. Yeah, about there will do. Sunbeam broadcasting to all survivors of the Aurora. We've covered more than half the distance, so hold on in there. We're scanning the planet for dry land as we speak. You couldn't have picked a less convenient parking spot. But we'll be in touch as soon as we have a landing site for you. Sunbeam out. Oh, guys, you probably don't want to come here just yet, considering that thing's still turned on. And that killed the Aurora. If you're a six-seater ship, you're fucked. Anyways, ladies and gents, I'm going to call this one here. I'm going to have to have a think about exactly whether or not I keep pulling this apart or whether or not I just go off wandering again. Until next time, click like if you do, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll catch you then.